Rear Rivers Archery has sent me this chronograph so we can test some of the theories that are out there about traditional archery. Today we're going to test the difference between a heavier arrow and a lighter arrow and see what the speed differences are each graduation through. So stick with us, you're going to love it. Hey guys, this is Nate Bailey with Barebow Hunters, and today we are going to go over some of the old wives' tales that people argue about on the internet about traditional archery all the time. Three Rivers Archery is sponsoring this whole thing. They sent me a pro chronograph, and if you guys want to see, get your own, um, you can get it at this link here. I also want to help you guys make an informed decision about what you're buying, how you're setting your uh, equipment up for the type of hunting you're doing. Okay, so we're going to start with my hunting, um, with with my hunting setup this year. These are six. These are 650 grain arrows, and this is the grizzly stick with a 200 grain head. Now, Three Rivers Archery sent me a bunch of different heads here, a bunch of different weights, and I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot three shot groups with different weight arrows. And one of the big miscons, or one of the things that people argue about, is how much difference weight makes in the speed of an arrow. So what we're going to show is we're going to adjust arrows. We're going to go clear up from from 85 up to 300, and see how much it slows the uh, arrows down. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to shoot three shot groups and then we'll average every one of them. If I find um, the numbers way off, then it's probably me shooting and we're going to have to, and I'll make sure that I get a clean three shot group. So we're going to do that and we're going to see how much difference each individual arrow weight makes. This is my 200 grain um, field point and I'll show you guys. now. On my scale here, the bottom number has come off on the LED, so it's, it's going to not show up on the bottom there, but you guys can see. That's a 200 grain. I have three of them at 200 grains, and I will shoot this group three at 200 grains. Now the chronograph, it has what they call a shot string. So you can set it up so the 200 grain string will be number one shot string, and then we'll go back through and review this after we shoot them. This is the Pro Chrono that... Um, Three River cells, and it's super easy. You just have a, a switch on the side to turn it on. Once you turn it on, then string number one's ready. And all you gotta do is shoot through it. Um, I'm gonna shoot three arrows through it, and then we'll average the three arrows. Cole, come here. Come here. <laughs> Get over here. Um, we're at that first string. This is the 650 grain arrow. So this is the 200 grain broadhead. And so what you do now is you go to review and it'll give you uh, the second shot is 140. The first shot's 144. And then it gives you the high, which is 144. Low, 140 and average is 141 so that's pretty close to uh that that's a pretty good shooting range now i could probably get it within two feet per second um some of that's my back tension I'm, i we shot a lot today so i'm kind of tired so Okay, so now we're gonna uh, change the string to number two, and then I've already shot through it, so I'm gonna delete that string. So number two, we're ready to go. Um, I'm only, I only have two 300 grain field tips, so I'm gonna shoot two, go get one out of the target, and then shoot another one, so we have that three. All right, here we go. Let's take it. Okay. 
So we lost five feet per second. Stay, come back. Two. All right, so this is a, this is the second strain. These are 750 grain arrows out of this bow. This little bow is shooting the 750 grain arrows. Anyhow, uh, seven, that's a big arrow for this bow. 750 grain arrows, and then let's go ahead and review. And we'll go to the high was 135, the low was 132, and the average was 134. So that's with the 750 grain. My next arrows, I'm gonna put a 150 uh, fill point on, and we're gonna shoot those, and that'll be a 600 grain arrow. 200. 150. Yeah, 150. All right, so now we have a 600 grain arrow. These are 150 tips. Um, I've changed the chrono to uh, string number three. And we'll go back through these if you guys are losing count and we'll show you the difference between all the um, shots. Okay, so we're now with the 600 grain arrow. I only have two fill points, so we're gonna have to pull one back out of the target after we shoot the two. But we are on string three, the 600 grain arrow, 150 grain, uh, what do they call these things? Filter. Oh yeah, fill points. <laughs> Ball, come here. Come on. Now, if you look at the target, they are shooting. They're a little bit stiff spined, and they're hitting the target and they're going sideways. That means they're a little stiff spined. All right, so this is a one, uh, 150. Uh, fill point and a 600 grain arrow and our our high is 150 low is 145 and so we're about 147 so it's changing um, we do have significant changes between the arrow weights one of the things that I'm noticing too though and one thing that could be affecting arrow speed is I'm running out of tune on the bow um, if you guys notice that last set of arrows hit the target a little sideways, well that's because the arrow isn't tuned. So we're going to shoot the 125s next. 125s. About 580. About 580. Should be about 575 really. 580. That's still, you know, a hunting arrow for most people is in that 500 range. All right, we're at string number four. We got 125 grains. So um, we're at 575 technically is what we're supposed to be at. Um, so a 575 grain arrow. We're doing this to show you the increments of how uh, much speed you gain or lose by just changing, uh, you know, 50 grains of arrow weight. So let's see what we got now. Come here. Come here, Cole. Come on. Probably a bad release. Sit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and review it. Our high was 152, low was 150, and our average 151, which um, is really surprising because that's a 570 grain arrow, mm -hmm. and this is a 56 inch bow. Um, that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's right in there with a lot of the longer bows. This is 54 pounds at 26 inches, so. It, it is the full 54 pounds at my draw. I draw 26 inches. We're gonna do one more test, and that's shooting a 400 grain arrow 
uh, through the bow. So we're gonna do one more test. Okay. Okay, we're going to Three Rivers Archery. These are the arrows I was shooting at my 50 pound bow. Um, they're gonna be a little bit light, so they're not gonna be quite the right green. So that would put me at a 400 green arrow. Let's go see if these will shoot. Okay, string number five, 400 green, trad only, um, 500s. So they're gonna be, uh, they might be a little light. I could probably get away with them if I cut them down a little bit. And one other thing is that these are shooting four trad veins. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. We're gonna test that later. That's, that's another one of our tests is we're going to put feathers on and trad veins on and see which one shoots faster. One hundred sixty-nine. Come on, go! Cool. Cool. It has more. So it's lighter arrow. Did you guys hear that last arrow? It's lighter and it's kind of shocky. You can feel it. Boy, and they're way off. Duplicate. One sixty-nine. Hey! Right. Hey. hey, get your that. Okay, come here. Sit down. I know you're not even a year old yet, but that is not proper. Not, hey, not it. Look at me, it's not proper. Okay, stay, watch out, let me get you, okay, sit. Good boy. Okay, you stay, not it. All right, so we're gonna go back through, review all of the different arrows, and remember, that the number one, uh, string number one that I shot was my hunting arrow. So it's a 650 green arrow. So let's, let's take a look. We'll go to the average. Whoops. Let's go to average. And the average was 141. So my average for my hunting setup is 141 feet per second. Um, that's a 650 green arrow. The next one was a 750 green arrow and that's number two here. And we'll look at the average of that. And that's a 750 grain arrow, and that's 134, 134. So the next string is a 600 grain arrow. We dropped, we dropped back down uh, to 50 grains from my hunt, so it was 150 grain fill point. Let's take a look at that. Where, where is it? Oh, string change. Okay, so this is a 600 green arrow, 147 feet per second out of a 600 green arrow out of a 54 pound bow. That's not bad, 54 pound at 26. That's not bad. Okay, the next one, let's um, go to the next string. The next one was, that was our 575 grain arrow. 575 grain arrow and we'll review it. Whoops. And we'll go to the average. The average was 151 feet per second. Okay, and the last one, I took this arrow, which is a 400 grain arrow, the way I have it. I have a 100 grain field point, and it was a 300 grain shaft with everything on it. Um, now, there are a couple things here that affect the speed. So I want you guys just to realize that. You know, this is, this is we're generalizing here. We're not, if I was to take these tests and, and do it, any more scientific I would have to get a shooting machine and make sure I was shooting exactly the same arrows and make sure the wind was exactly the same but traditional archery is not that so um, this is giving you a good idea traditional archery you know um, got back when guys were shooting wood arrows they would have they'd have to go through wood arrows all the time to get their arrows to be a good set of arrows um, nowadays with our equipment we can stay pretty consistent so you, you don't have to overthink this stuff you guys um, if you want to geek out on it, more power to you. But you really don't have to geek out on this. With, with a good carbon shaft and the bows the way they are and the strings the way they are nowadays, um, this stuff shoots really consistent. But with that said, this is a different arrow and it's not tuned for my bow. So it's a, it's a 400 grain arrow and we sure didn't notice that it was noisy. It was, <laughs> and there was more hand shock. It was, it was buzzing my hand. So. Um, it, it, you know, there's a lot of energy tied up into all that. So let's take a look and see what it did. 167, let's review it. Let's see what the average was. So 168 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. Not bad. Um, 
So, if you guys like this stuff, keep watching. Um, we Our next video, and I'll put it right up here, our next video is how to sharpen your broadheads. And then, after that, so go right there now. After this video is over, just uh, click on this one and go back to how to sharpen your broadheads. And then the video after that will be, is the difference between veins and feathers. Will it make a difference? All right, take it easy.